In the next five minutes, I'm going to be showing you how you can scrape hundreds, if not thousands of leads in your niche for completely free in an automated way that you probably haven't seen before. Now, this is going to blow your mind. And if you keep watching, I'll show you how to enrich the data that we have right here. So this is just like scratching the surface. We're going to take it way beyond and I'll show you exactly how in a second. So this is a video you are not going to want to miss. Let's jump straight into it. So this works for any niche. The tool that I recommend, you can see at the top right, I've tried so many different Google, like Chrome extension, uh, tools for like lead scraping, whether that's Google Maps, business directories, like uh, Yellow Pages, Yelp, so forth. And this is one that I recommend. It's called mapsscraper.net. I am not affiliated. I am, I've not been paid to say this. You won't find this link in the description. This is generally what I think is the best one to go for. If you are a bit broke, you don't really have much money to spend on like Apollo or Clay or like other lead generation platforms, you're going to have to do this, but it's still automated, which is amazing. And you just have to download it by clicking add to Chrome. And then once you do that, you can very easily just click on the like, I guess, Chrome extension and it will open a new tab. And this is Bing Maps. So Bing Maps is just the alternative to like Google Maps. It's just like Microsoft's version of Google Maps, if that makes sense. And all you have to do is just type in the niche and location that you want to scrape into a CSV. Now I'm in Dubai, but I'm, I'm not gonna target like Dubai businesses hypothetically for this video. Let's say we want to help pool cleaning companies in Florida. So I would just type in Florida. You can see that you have a bunch of pool cleaning companies, but this works for any niche. So it doesn't matter what niche you're in or location, this will work. And we want to use this tool to automate everything we see on the left. And you can actually see like the IRL locations right here. And if you move the map, it's actually gonna be able to scrape um, as well. So yeah, it is very, very good. And you can see that I'm just gonna click start extraction. And we are going to be able to see that it has found 25 businesses in this area and it is basically scraping. Now, the beautiful thing about this is it says you can move the map to discover more businesses and it will automatically scrape that. So if we yeah, move the map, you can see it's now jumped up to 54. And guess what? You can just keep moving the map and it will do that. So in this case, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet and it's been able to scrape 54 businesses into Google Sheets in literally a few seconds. So if you click download, to CSV, like you probably saw the thumbnail and, being like, and I said like you can scrape these leads in seconds, but I'm actually showing you, which is crazy. Um, it, is, it literally is in seconds. And what I've done is I've actually like imported a prior scrape that I used using the exact same tool into Google Sheets. So this is kind of the data you'll see. You will get the business name, you'll get the address, you'll get the Bing Maps URL, you'll get the rating info, as well as the rating on like Microsoft or Google. Um, and also, yeah, the website, phone number, and then a company email. You will occasionally get like actual personal emails. But what we want to do, and you clicked on this video, so yeah, I'm gonna give you the source, and that's what we do on this channel. So definitely subscribe if you aren't already. A lot of you aren't, and I don't, I don't want you to miss the videos that I have coming up. But if, what, we, what we need to do now is actually take this um, data and enrich it. So as I just said, like, you can scrape local businesses using like, as I said, Microsoft, um, Bing, Google Maps, Yellow Pages, Yelp, using these Chrome extensions. There's so many ones out there. You know, there's Phantom Buster, there's Instant Data Scraper for like Instagram even, or Facebook. But what we want to do, and this is just scratching the surface, what we want to do is be able to find personal emails and more data from this data set right here. And that is data enrichment. We have the definition of data enrichment right here. So keep watching because this is very important. This is gonna you know, take your outreach and marketing to a new level. But data enrichment is the process of adding value and external data to your existing data sets. So we wanna basically do that. We wanna add um, external data to this to be able to do personalized marketing. And I think that's the best thing you could be doing if you're starting out. Um, you know, content, outreach, they work hand in hand, but it's basically to create richer, more actionable insights so you can have better decision-making. But in our case, we want it for personalized marketing. Um, Cause obviously if you were to send emails to this, it wouldn't work too well. We want better emails. So let's jump into how you do this. There are two paths you can take. If you have a bit of capital, maybe a hundred bucks, maybe 150 bucks, I would recommend using one of these uh, free tools. You have Clay, which is a data enrichment platform. You get 100 free credits. So just a quick tip or hack, I guess, is you could scrape 100 businesses in your area and then you could enrich them for free using Clay. And I'll pop up a video right here if you are interested in that, but definitely keep watching just so you understand the other path if you don't have money. Um, but 
yeah, Apollo, they also have a data enrichment feature. Better Contact is, an, is another like more low key one that also have a data enrichment feature. And all you have to do is like upload, so you download the CSV, um, give it to one of these free platforms, but you will have to pay 50, 100 bucks roughly. Um, and that is something you can do if you are like keen on just getting it done efficiently with better like information. So you can have the personal owner's like information, like email. Um, obviously not every time it'll be able to find it, but some of the time it can. Now, if you don't have any money, this is the other path. So the first path is just paying, but the second path is, and you're watching this right now, so we're going to give you the source. And people think about like ChatGPT and they, they don't really know that they can use it to do like data enrichment and these things. So what I did was I just uploaded the same list that you can see right here. And I basically just asked ChatGPT to find the owner's first and last name of these companies. So I just did like 44 to keep it simple. This was a prior list. As I explained, I got it from the exact same tool that I showed you. And it managed to find the owner's first name, like their full name from these companies that I uploaded. You can see right here. This is amazing. And it, it did take a bit of time. I'll be fully transparent. It did take like 10, 15 minutes to get this information. So it's not the best. But as I said, you either pay with your time and sweat equity, which is exactly that, or you pay with capital. And that is just how it goes in business. So if you are broke, you can definitely do this. And then an extra tip for you guys watching this, because I, I love every one of you. What you can do is you can actually get ChatGPT to put the first name of the owner before the domain or their email. So that may sound confusing. So let me explain this. Essentially, we want to not send emails to like info at paulcleaning.com. That would never work. You're going to like a support um, email with maybe a receptionist on it or like an admin on it. You want to get through to the owner so you can get actual chat GBT to put the first name of the owner before the domain name and it will do it automated for you. Um, and you can see that it did, I have said to go back and forth with it quite a few times, um, but it did manage to give me an actual list um, which you can see right here of the actual emails. Now, this is a very small sample. You could do this on a mass scale of like, if you were to upload a thousand businesses that you've scraped using the tool that I've given you, and then you were to follow this process using ChatGPT, you could probably, yeah, do this in a, in a relatively good way. This is if you're broke, by the way. If you have money, please just spend it on like a data enrichment tool like the ones I showed you because it's gonna save you so much time. Um, but bear in mind, you can get personal emails of the actual business owners. And then one thing you'll have to do is, regardless of what you do, whether it's the, this path or the other path of paying for a tool, definitely run it through a free e email verification platform. I recommend doing this one, which is called emaillistverified.com. This is uh, or one I've actually paid for in the past. I'm not being paid to say this. I've just used this to generally clean my list because not every email you know you get from ChatGPT or from Apollo is going to be verified. Um, so in this case, the um, more like ChatGPT freeway, it has quite a low safe to send rate, meaning the actual amount of um, emails, which is accurate right here, isn't very high. It's like 11%. But bear in mind, this is like a completely free strategy to try and get through to the owner. Um, but if you were to do a thousand, you could get a hundred um, like verified emails of getting through to the owner and that would have quite a high reply rate, higher than your typical like 2% uh, email campaign rate. So that is just a quick tip. Um, but as I said, I would probably just recommend you guys paying for like Better Contact or Apollo or, uh, or Clay and just using maybe Clay's like free credits to verify the list that I've given you in terms of the free scrape method from this. So I hope you found this video valuable. It was a quick one. Um, but yeah, it's great to get started with if you are just like looking to sell to local business owners, whether that's like marketing solutions, um, you know, it could be a performance growth offer, it could be AI, um, you know, website design. Like I think this is a great starting point. Um, you could always just use the um, list that we scraped first and foremost, and that's what I'd probably recommend doing. Um, but I think it's cool to actually get ChatGPT to find the owner's name. So when you do call, you can say, hey, am I speaking to James as an example. So take it easy guys. Um, have a wonderful day. Definitely subscribe and I'll put some videos up here on like lead generation that you can watch next.